Hello friends and welcome to Faith Elements. Hey, I know it's uh, been a little bit since I've posted an actual video, but um, as you can see I'm working on uh, framing out a laundry room for my wife. Very special present for her. It's not a surprise. You can tell her about it. She lives in the house here with me, so she pretty well knows what's going on. So not a surprise at all, but it's still a present that I've wanted to give her for a long time. and. Uh, it, it, well, all of us, you know, it'd be a nice room. But anyway, I, David, I wanted to reply to your post today. Uh, yes, nice glasses. And uh, I wanted to reply to more than just the glasses. Uh, sorry for the roughness of my surroundings, but uh, like I said, that's what's going on right now, finishing the room, and uh, I have the splinter embedded to prove it. I was driving home today. I was listening to your video. I was not watching it. I was listening to it because I wouldn't want to do that while I was driving, but I was listening to it. And I immediately pulled over because I wanted to reply right away, but um, I did so actually. But what happened was the the camera, like on my iPhone, like I must have been holding it sideways when I hit the record button, and of course it stays that way. So it recorded the whole video on its side, and I didn't think I would want to do that to you all. So here's the retake of that. Let's talk about raising our kids. You know, you you said something about how people feel it's indoctrinating our kids to teach them about Christian stuff. And I had a friend challenge me with that notion a couple years ago. He said, you know, I think it's foolish for people to teach their kids about God and, and religion stuff. And I said, oh, so really, what do, you, what do you teach your kids? And he said, well, I don't teach them about God. I said, no other things. Do you teach them how to play nice and be nice and, and use the fork and not their hands? And he said, well, yeah. And I said, you teach them to use the toilet? And he said, yeah. And I said, okay, you are teaching them the things that you value and I'm teaching my kids the things that I value. How dare somebody say that their values are more important than mine or are mine more important than somebody else's, right? You know, that, that, that's where I go with that line of thought is I just, you know, when somebody says that, I, you know, hey, what, do you just not let your kids, do you not teach them anything? No, everybody teaches their kids something and they teach them the things that they value. So, you know, like you said, Jesus is the thing that I value. So with that in mind, I've spent my entire fatherhood in this mode of just readiness for when those moments occur that I can speak a, a word of Jesus into my kids' lives. There's, it's like a runner in the starting box all the time. I'm just constantly waiting for that moment when they present something or life presents something that allows me to, to jump on and, and say, yeah, this is, this is how this ties into the Bible. This is what this means, and this is how this works. And, and so that's about all I had. I just uh, really uh, appreciate the shout out, of course, and uh, hope all is well with you, David, and you watching at home or on a mobile device, or not in your car, of course, because that would not be safe. I just want to thank you for watching, and uh, wish me luck on the rest of this. I have not bled so far on this project. I even did my very first pocket door. Ooh, that's so exciting for me. If you have any really cool ideas from the laundry room, I've had a few, you know, like I want to mount TV to the wall, you know, I don't know, that would be a little bit crazy, but I've had a few ideas. If you have a neat idea that you would like to see in your laundry room, put it in the comments down below and let me know what you think. I'd like to put one of those little fold-out ironing boards or something. I, you know, of course, that's just a man thinking because I want to accessorize this bad boy. So uh, thank you for watching again and uh, take care. God bless.